this um on the surface you know when you first look at it this looks like a tragedy but um i'm let some things play and i'll be back total devastation it's a shame nothing but rubble and ashes are all that remain of historic church in spencer after fire destroyed the building Investigators believe the church steeple was struck by lightning during Friday's thunderstorms. Now she can't believe there's nothing left. Pastor Bruce McLeod, um, you know, he's the intern pastor. He's been there for the past three months. I believe that's what it said on their website. Um, he says some very, very, very astonishing things about the word of God. So the question is, how do people decide what to believe in the Bible since there are so many contradictions and the reality is that indeed there are lots and lots of contradictions. Um, you know, why are there all those contradictions in the Bible? Well, because it was written down by people over a period of about 1500 years. So given, given that, uh, people are going to have different kinds of things and, and I am one who does not believe it was dictated by God. And I am one who does not believe it was dictated by God. I think that the scripture, the Bible, is human beings trying to make sense of, who, the, of their experience of God. And, and people in different times experience God in different ways. Hmm. Very interesting take, pastor. But what does the word of God say? This is 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Um, all scripture, all scripture, all scripture is breathed out by God. And profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. And just to further my astonishment, you know, he refers to God as mother in his closing prayer. No gracious God, through all the ages... Mother matters. People have called you Mother Nature, Mother Earth, Mother God, Life Giver. Today, Holy Mother God, for you are more than any single description of gender or personality or role. With all we praise and give thanks to you, Holy God, Trinity of love, one God forever. And all of God's people may say, Amen. So what do y'all think? Y'all think that this was a coincidence, a natural disaster, or is God sending a message that he doesn't play about his holiness still? Is it? I have my thoughts. What are you guys' thoughts? Why don't you share it in the comment section? Grace and peace.